Classes and Objects in Java In this video, we are going to discuss about Java class and objects. So to begin with, what is a class? Now a class is actually a blueprint from which an object is created. That means this class can combine several objects together which have some same characteristics or behavior. That is, it is a logical entity that helps in defining the behavior and properties. The object is having certain behavior and the properties. So that particular behavior and the properties. So that together get combines in a class. Next what we have is a class can only be assessed from outside via its instance. That means if a class scope ends, that means for example in previous programs also we have created several classes. Let's say we create a class named S and if you have several objects or methods in this particular class, then how can you assess is outside the scope of the class with the help of objects. With the help of objects only you can assess it. Every class in Java must belong to some package. Obviously, firstly we create a package and then only we write that. This is a good way of programming that we create a package and then write a program. For example, create a package key and that includes the class. Packages in short are nothing but a group of similar types of classes or interfaces or sub packages. Now in Java, classes are actually being generally classified under two categories. The first is built in. And the second is user defined. So the built in classes are those classes which come bundled with the predefined packages. When we install Java or the Eclipse ID or any other ID, then they are already defined in the part of JDK to help out any Java programmer, such as the string class, the system.out class, exception, object, date hash map, array list, all such classes are known as built-in classes. The next class is user defined class. As the name suggests, this particular class is defined by the user. User defines this particular class according to its own needs or the programming functionalities further. Now how can we create a class? The basic syntax for the creation of the classes, you have to mention the SS specifier. Then you have to use the keyword class and then of course the name which you want to give your class this is how it is done next in between the curly braces you have to mention the class body that what particular method it's having what particular fields it's having or any other kind of objects which are to be further called with the help of class now next we know that a term which usually used with class is constructor that what are constructors now constructors are actually with same name of the class and it is created and there are several types of constructors in Java. Now a constructor, it is having same name as the class. For example, here we say the name of the class is demo. So the constructor name will be demo only when it is initialized and if there are no parameters passed, this is just blank, then it is known as a default constructor. It is called within the class body only. Constructors are Java is used to initialize an object of class immediately after the object is created. A constructor must have its name same as the class. In Java, every class has a constructor known as the default constructor, which you can add or you can do it according to your own requirement. So this is a constructor. Next, we switch to object we have discussed about class and we have also discussed about the constructor which is having the same name of the class so next we are going to discuss about the objects in java so objects as we have already said that it is actually a part of class only so when we come to objects objects in java are real world entity that means we have already discussed that it has its own behavior and the properties. So objects are considered to be the fundamental concept of Java. Why? Because we know that Java is an object oriented programming language. And when it is an object oriented programming language, I have already told in the introduction that everything particularly created in Java is termed as an object. A Java program can have many object as required. An object consists of three things that is the state of the object, the behavior of the object, and the identity of the object. So the state represent the attributes and the properties. 
Behavior defines the methods. An identity, it provides a unique name to an object so that it can be used to enable for the communication between two or more objects in Java. Now, how can we create a Java object? We can create a Java object. There are very three simple steps. Firstly, what we need to do is we need to firstly declare the object that is the declaration. Next we have is instantization. Which means that you need to use the new keyword with the help of new keyword this keyword we can actually create a new object and then definitely initialization that you have to call it with the help of the class name so next come is initialization this is the final step in which you need to initialize the object by calling the class constructor which you have created that is having same name as the class name so declaration then insti instantization with the help of new keyword and then the initialization now let us discuss a program and that we will execute in eclipse id also now here you can see that i have written a code and firstly what i have done i have initialized a class for that we use the specifier the keyword class and the name of class so the name of class is goeduhub Next, I have called a default constructor because it has no parameters and when this particular constructor is called for object creation, then what is going to print that the default constructor of class goeduhub is called. Okay. In the public static void main method, what I have done is I have created a new object that is of the class goeduhub and the object obg is created with the help of the new keyword. New keyword we have studied that it is used to initialize the new object created of a class that you need to use the new keyword for creation of an object and then the goedu particular class is called and what it is going to print the default constructor of this class is called as i have called it with a object so to assess this particular member or this particular print function or you can say the method i have to create an object for that class as i run this particular program you will see that the default constructor of class goedu hub is called that is printed so this is how a class to assess the member functions or the data members of that particular class object creation is much needed we are done with the basics of class and objects in java and for more concepts we will look into upcoming videos